Today we have for you a 17 pound box out of Virginia from shopgoodwill.com. So let's get started. This box had some very interesting pieces. We had two beautiful examples of uh, cloisonne. We have this blue bird, and this is a pendant. Could have been part of an earring set, but it's pretty hefty, so I'm gonna think that it's, uh, it's an actual pendant. It is the same scene on both sides with this beautiful salmon color. And then we have this pin, and to me this almost looks like a lotus flower and this beautiful enameling right here. It's, it is just gorgeous. So we had these two pieces, which I thought was a nice, nice find. And then we have this piece of art glass. And this pendant, you know, we've had our share of art glass lately, but this one actually has the Murano uh, um, the sticker on it. And it does say made in Italy. Um, Venezia Murano. So this is also quite a little surprise. So these were three items that were, you know, a nice bonus. We ended up with some beautiful stretchies. Uh, these have some glass and some metal, a little bit of rhinestone. I think these three together make a nice trio. This has a beautiful piece of glass. It's a nice big hefty bead. You know, I'm just a regular cord. This is new with tags. This is kind of really cool with these here. Uh, Bella and Jack, you know, with the gray. Um, I think it's suede. All right. All right, Miss Stacy, tell me what these are. Uh, these are, they almost have kind of a chalky feel to me. They remind me of the um, lava beads, but they don't quite have the same texture. I mean, maybe they're man-made. I don't know, kind of cool though. We end up with three fashion stretchies. You know, great for the upcoming, you know, Independence Day. This is cute. Look how cute these little, these little peoples are here. Uh, looks like we have rose quartz and a few other I'm not sure what these are, maybe garnet, I don't know. And then the little blue birds look like out of shell. And that is a very, I don't think the camera is going to pick it up, but it's like a very tight rope of leather, which is kind of cool. We ended up with this new one with tags from Crystal Avenue. And it says, blessed. I think these might be Jasper. Mm, maybe, yeah, maybe. Let me know. And then we have two really fashion ones. We've got a nice big stretch. To me, when I first saw it, these almost look like Mickey Mouse, like I had friends. So there's that one. It looks like in really nice shape. And then this rose one, this clamper, uh, it's not marked, you know, silver tone, just kind of a basic, but I love the roses. The roses are beautiful. Of course, wouldn't be, you know, a bag without Puka! Little, you know, uh, fashion charm. You know, everything's pretty lightweight on that. This one is not. This one is a really nice tight stretch. A uh, nice weight. Absolutely beautiful weight on that one. You know, just a gold tone fashion. You know, kind of basic. This one I think is an anklet, and now the dog is digging through the dog bowl. You know what, we're just gonna have dog noise today. Everybody's kind of restless, it's been raining. Okay, uh, this one at the size, I think this would be an anklet, but these are beautiful uh, ceramic beads, loving the beads. And this one too, this is pretty good size. So I think, you know, with all the swirl work and everything, it's beautiful, but I still think that one's gonna be an anklet too just from the size, or somebody with a wrist, you know, my size, I probably have a good eight inch. I've always had a, a big wrist, so, I mean, it could be a bracelet, but I certainly think you could pull that off. I mean, look at this, as an anklet. Okay, 
Let's do a few fashion necklaces and then we're gonna get to a little more silver. Okay, uh, great older clasp. You know, we have, uh, they feel like glass to me. I think they're, you know, um, supposed to be pearls. So, but nice heavy. I, I think that's got a good weight to it. Uh, we wouldn't have, you know, uh, hair. Um, hematite, you know, the fish symbol. I love this one. These, you know, I'm not so crazy about this chain. I don't think it's quite the what came with this. But the moon glow on this checkerboard uh, center, ugh, I love that. Okay, you know me in glass. Look at this dichroic glass necklace. I We've had hearts before, but this is a great, kind of this crackle effect in the middle. I mean, it's got same color front and back. Ugh, love that piece. Speaking of glass. Okay, this is a very, very cool, longer necklace. This reminds me of sea glass. I mean, it's that frosted uh, bead look to it. I mean, if you're not into, you know, real bold statement pieces, something like this, I mean, it's enough of a pop with the chain, but, you know, ugh. Fabulous. And then speaking of, if you're in the mood for a little something bigger, these are plastic, but the shine, I mean, they've got such a great sheen. Um, nice size, nice and chunky. That look is, um, you know, here I am. Love that. We had another hematite necklace. Uh, this one is a little different. I don't know if we've ever had one with the rectangle beads. Um, so I thought that was kind of a nice, you know, nice little departure there. And we had a few with tags. This one is from Blue Eye. I'm wondering if these folks didn't, you know, visit Hawaii maybe. So we have that one. And then I think this is the very first shell that we've had. You know, it's a standard shell but it still has the tags on it. This one is from Hilo, Hot, Hilo Hotties. I'm loving that, I think that is cool. And then we have this shell, and these are open. So, you know, these have been sliced open, so they have, you know, like half of that um, shell. So you kind of have that in and out, you can see both sides. So I think that was, you know, I think that's kind of cool. Okay, I think, I think this is wood. I don't, I mean, it certainly could be acrylic, but it has a nice grain. So I think it's some kind of treated wood. But, you know, he's really cute. Look at this little seahorse. Okay, this one absolutely would go great with the very first one we had with the, uh, the glass pearls, and I think that is very similar to that. This looks like a mother-daughter, like me and the miss, who's at school. They're doing, getting ready for a big dance show, so she's been absent a little bit here uh, from filming. Not to worry, uh, break is coming soon, so she will, she will be back. Okay, another fashion. You know, some standard, just some standard stuff. And then these two were adorable. Both have a little condition issue though. Uh, the dolphin and the seahorse. They look fine from the front, but from the back, clearly somebody loved them because the bale on both of them has the copper showing through. I mean, but if you're wearing them, you're never gonna notice. So aren't those adorable? Okay, then we ended up with something we haven't seen in quite a little while. Collars. This nice, big, hefty one. I mean, that has a lot of work in it. And then this is a very standard collar. And this is more of the standard with the, uh, you know, the little closure. 
So, I mean, that was kind of a nice find, too. And we ended up with some different things, let me tell you. Uh, speaking of different, this is our very first Monet clamber. I had never found one in any of the boxes. So I'm going to say more of a modern piece, obviously. Uh, just it has the standard Monet uh, stamp on it. So we have that. And then again, I hadn't ever seen Sarah Coventry in plastic beads. And they don't look, you know, I mean, I don't know. They don't look all that nice quality so I'm wondering if someone just put this tag on here Did, has anyone else had these by Sarah Coventry let me know put put a message down down below if you've had that I'd be very helpful um okay this was certainly one of my favorite pieces out of this group it is Trafari I love the pearls I love the baguette rhinestones you don't see that very often I mean, this is just, you know, certainly, certainly one of my favorite pieces. And the last sign piece that we had, uh, this is Leah Sophia, nice stretch bracelet signed down here. And it has this great texture. Let's see if I flatten it out a little. I mean, it's almost like, you know, ostrich skin. Ostrich skin. I can't talk today. Kind of that look, right? Because it's kind of cool with this green. All right, uh, let's do a little silver. Coming right up. We found a few more silver pieces. All right, this one, really pretty bracelet, marked 925, back in. Let's see if I can turn it the right way. Here. And then we had three rings, all marked 925. And this bolo bracelet, which is really cool, is not marked 925, but it's marked IBBCN. So when we looked that up, it came up with International Bullion and Metal Brokers. So they do have silver pieces, they have silver tone pieces, and this is either, you know, silver tone or plated, just from the look of the color. I don't think this is metal, I just think this is silver tone. But I thought it was a really nice example of, you know, how a, a, a piece could look, you know, like silver. Okay, so what, what we're going to do, I'm not going to test this one. Uh, I don't want this finish to come off. This is beautiful just the way it is. It has rhinestones. I really like this piece, so we're going to leave it. But we're going to go ahead and test these four. So let's bring our testing back out. Okay, uh, again today, um, if you're going to test, please wear gloves. I'm going to use the 18K because it does show up a little better on film. And there are a lot of different ways to test. Everyone has their own way of doing it. Okay, let's test this one first, this little ring that was marked 925. I can tell you right now, um, we've had a ton of rings lately that claim to be 925 they are not Ooh, that marker ready doesn't look good okay and i have a spot on my stone so i'm going to skip over a little bit move over okay that one eh, i'll be surprised All right, so the one in the middle, this is nothing. That's part of my stone. So we have this ring, this ring, and this ring. Let's get our supplies. Let's give it a go. And of course, I'm using way more liquid than I normally would, but you really want it to show up on camera. Okay, so this is a big fat no. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. And these two are yes. So obviously that's a uh, cubic zirconia or you know, like a Bella stone. And this is just a little silver fashion ring. All right, well that's that. Let's scrape this off. Okay, so now we know, even though it's marked, nope, it does happen. 
I have my doubts about this one too. This also doesn't have, you know, a look that screams to me. And I'm gonna have to be careful. I mean, I'm gonna have to, you know, rub, but I don't wanna rub so much that we have some issues. So let's, okay, let's give it, a, mm, that already doesn't look great either. Okay, here we go, cross our fingers. And, ugh, did you see how fast that disappeared? We certainly have a wah, 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 and I scratched hard enough that you would get past rhodium. So this, even though it is also marked 925, is most likely not. Okay, again, with this box, it had some great uh, representations of just about all of the earrings out there. I mean, we've got some beautiful beadwork in these. I love I love the beadwork, it's gorgeous. Uh, if you're a girl of the 80s, the ceramic earrings, boy, were they huge in the 80s. I have a pair very similar to that one, uh, still in my jewelry box, ooh, dating myself, and this one too, but I think they were like more, more neon. Okay, so these are all uh, for ceramic. You have this beautiful enamel work here. These have a gorgeous uh, glass bead here and a nice little crystal bead here. Uh, these are some nice fashion faux pearl. These little guys, those are Avon. Uh, some great rhinestones. You've got the classic Howlite. Um, I think we're trying to look like Peridot here, uh, but definitely Peridot colored glass. And this cute little pair down here, they are Ralph Lauren. So that is a, a nice representation of what was in this box. But let me show you now what is some of my favorites. So hang on, stay with me. Surprise! Look at what was in this box. If, if you've been with us for any amount of time, you know I am a Christmas girl. I love the holidays. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a chunky, chunky uh, glass bracelet. I am in such love with these from like the wrap present to all the intricate detail with the holly on the outside, the appliques, ah. And if I, if I just didn't love this one anymore, look here. Look at this one with the little snowman and the trees. I mean, we're talking, ah. Okay, but it gets, it just keeps getting better. Look at this. Look at this one. Look at these little enameled Look at these little Santas and the little the snowmen and the bells. I, oh, I love this. I am in such love. Okay, look at this one with all the, well, I, okay, this is a double whammy for me. You know this. We have Christmas and we have glass beads. Uh, Y'all, I don't think it gets any better than that, does it for me? I mean, come on now. Look at this. Look at, look at the sparkle. Oh, I just, uh, okay, okay. And then, look at this one. Look at these crystal beads. Look at the candy cane. I'm, I'm in heaven. But look at these. Uh, these are great crystal beads. I mean, some beautiful, you gotta touch them to make them move a little bit. Look at those. I mean, this one, ugh. Okay, they, it just keeps getting better, right? Okay, this one is a stretch. So he... Definitely um, more user friendly. If you lost it, you wouldn't be as upset. You know, come on now. Uh, still like this one. I like this one still. Okay, these are much older. Look at, let's see if I can get everybody showing. Come on, don't be shy now. Uh, looks like we've got some yellowing on the charms, a little bit of patina on the beads. This one is certainly a little older, I think, than the others. At least I believe those um, particular charms are. Love that. And then if that weren't enough, okay, before I stab myself with one of these, all right then, we have a great little collection. I'm not kidding. These are all trying to stab me today. Of holiday pins. Look at these. I mean, look, look at this little face. Look at this. 
Yeah, we have little glass legs. Let me turn his little feet around. There we go. Oh, okay, he doesn't want to. All right, well, three are showing. He's dancing. Flip. And we have rhinestones. We have the great silver and gold. The little candle. And the angel. I think I have everybody in the frame now. Look at that. I mean, if this wasn't quite a little sign I needed that keep Christmas in your heart, keep that giving spirit, that, you know, just that joy that you have during that time. So uh, this was, I mean, woohoo, definitely a fabulous little find in here. All right, I've uh, got some interesting necklaces too. So hang on, be right back. Never ceases to amaze me how many different styles of jewelry there are in the world and how many you will find in one box. Uh, you know what? We haven't found a, you know, a statement piece in quite a little while uh, that had that kind of look. This has the rhinestones, the salmon color, a little more pink than salmon this time around. Beautiful gold chain. I think this is a great, uh, great size for spring. And then we have the tassel, the really elegant glass bead let's, let's move it. there we go dual tassel ooh ah okay uh, it's not marked um did i just lie yes i did hello it's Talbots. ooh um gold tone very upscale you know it has a great great presence here okay and then we go completely in another direction, and we have old school. I mean, clearly this isn't old, but, uh, you know, it's meant to look old. So we have the cameo in the little beads and the little bit antique looking chain. I mean, here we go. I mean, look at just the different styles with that. And then we move on to an extremely long, really bright green beaded necklace. I mean, talk about, you know, change of seasons here. Uh, you know, they're just standard beads. These are plastic, but they have a great look. I remember in high school, uh, these particular beads, they were all over. They were in uh, bracelets and earrings and all different colors. Yeah, I mean, it was a ton of colors. So it's lightweight. This would be great for, you know, wearing all evening long. This, this has a very Leah Sophia look to it. It doesn't have quite that heaviness. Uh, it doesn't have that really nice, ooh, you know, that Monet feel to it. But it's nicely constructed. The beautiful green and the blues. Nice pop. Nice pop of color. And then we move more to fashion. Kind of that tribal look with these salmon color seed beads. So that is a nice little piece. Also lightweight. I think that would be easy to wear all day. Almost choker length on that one. Uh, seed beads, multi-strand woven together. You know, that nice braided fashion. Seeing lots of that um, more and more this spring. This more of an industrial, heavy, romantic uh, kind of look. This one is by NY. Let's see if I can get everything in the frame. There we go. Now you can see it a little better, I think. A little bit of everything. I mean, you've got the hammered look, you've got the rhinestone, you know, the antique chain. Uh, definitely more of a revival kind of feel to it. And I, I tell you what, I mean, just the gamut of all of these. Let me grab some more. I'll be right back. It's about time Rose Gold makes an appearance. We're seeing more and more of that, both on TV and on the red carpet. Uh, standard uh, fashion, no name, but, you know, even though it's lightweight, it has a lot of pop to it. I mean, I think this would be, you know, just a sparkle against your skin and your shirt. I think that would be fabulous. Hearts, seeing even though this is repurp, you know, for all intents and purposes, used jewelry. Um, 
we're still seeing a lot of trends even on what we're finding people are still donating love the kind of that hammered muted gold tone look and green seeing an awful lot of green again and this has some beautiful little green glass beads with it this is by lucky multi strand is still huge and this is that robin's egg blue turquoise that sleeping beauty look to it i love sleeping beauty and if you can't afford it this is a great alternative uh, nice weight it has a great feel very smooth very silky can you tell i like that one i like that one uh, that was lucky we have some stone looks like dyed howlite kind of fashion with the um, the size of the links, you know, it's just fun. I think this one is just a fun piece. This one to me says more evening wear with these great sparkle beads here. I mean, just to have a move, I mean, every time you move, they sparkle. Hence, I just said that. Mm. Okay, anyway. Uh, it's lightweight, so if you're going out to dinner, I don't think it would bother you immensely to have it on for, you know, a long time. Or any length of time. Okay, moving into a classic standard. The pinks, the lavenders, very big in spring. Uh, glass beads, multi-strand, you know, very long. You know, show off uh, what you've got, basically. You know, it draws attention. And, uh, of course, I am going to love this one. It has glass beads. Come on now. Multi-strand. We have the black beads and this, this, I think, you know, the black rhodium plated look. Uh, these black glass beads. The AB covered, you know, that metallic AB look to them. Uh, it's a great piece. I, this, this I like a lot. Again, it's very long. You know, somebody with my stature being um, <clears throat> vertically challenged, you need to <laughs> you need to add a little something, something. Okay, this, you know what, is Premier Design. Multi-strand, you have the silver tone beads, the, um, hello, rhinestone encrusted rondelles here at the sides of both I mean, it's just a great look. Again, nice. Could you imagine this with like a little black dress? Ugh, I'm telling you, I like this one a lot. All right, we are almost done. We've got some earrings and then we're gonna do some gold testing. So hang on, we'll be right back. All right, the final round of earrings. We have everything from glass beads to classic knot design clip-ons these copper, I believe these are copper dipped leaves, uh, Bali inspired, the classic pearl and glass stone. These are fashion with the cutest little lavender roses. I mean, this would be really pretty for prom dress. Uh, glass beads with silver tone hearts, fashion aqua circles. These are great clip-ons. These are very, uh, to me, they're very boho. I like this look with the copper and that faux pearl you know with that industrial silver i like that and then you've got some classic pearls i mean you can't you can't not have a box without some classic pearls all right this is the last of our earrings uh, we do have some more silver and gold testing so let me get that set up and we'll get right to it all right, before we move into the finale with the gold and silver testing i just wanted to show you the this was the discard the craft the broken you know the miscellaneous whatnot and i just wanted to give you a go how much we pulled out of that box and this weighed in at just a just shy of five pounds so we did end up with quite a bit of craft out of this box so all right let's let let's move on to the silver and gold i know big finale all right here we go all right let's wrap up this box with some of the more interesting pieces, I think. This piece caught my eye. It has almost a very artisan look, the way these links are formed. Uh, they look handmade, 
<clears throat> excuse me. I'm starting to feel a little under the weather. You're going to have to forgive me. We're almost done with this video. Uh, this is not marked. It's not marked with a maker. It's not marked with 925. It's not magnetic and it has a great feel. So we're going to go ahead and test this one. It has really nice little Baroque pearls. It has some crystal beads. So we're going to test this one. And then this has, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh boy. Okay. This one has uh, an ornate little cross and this is marked 925. This has a great older patina. So we're going to test this one. This looks like something newer. Uh, this is a stone. It has a little bit of uh, veining. So I'm not sure what stone that is, but it is marked 925. It's a really light little chains, but we're going to test it anyway. And then we ended up with this cross. <clears throat> And this again looks like a little newer. It's also marked 925, so we're gonna go ahead and test that. And then we ended up with two little bits. This is a little earring back, and this is like a little tiny uh, earring. So we're gonna go ahead and test all of those. So let's bring our <coughs> stone back in. And again, we're gonna use the 18 karat because it shows up on camera much um, easier than the silver cleaner does. All right, so let's pick a link because what we're gonna do is we're gonna rub pretty good because if this is silver plate, you're gonna be able to see the base metal under it. So I'm gonna pick a link, uh, you know, kind of in the middle. Let's pick like this one. <clears throat> and I'll rub on the bottom side because it's part of, you know, the chain. You know, you're not really gonna see it. So let's go ahead and let's give this one good rub hmm okay well that has a great hang on where's my loop this has got a great look to it and you know where I scratched still looks silver you know what guys we may end up with an actual this may actually be all silver that would be fabulous all right let's do this one <clears throat> okay I'm gonna do a little bit on the chain And let's do a little on the cross. You know what? I'll go above it. How about that? That way we know this is the same piece. Okay. And then we'll do this one. This little cross. I'll put this off to the side. And that's our second one. Okay, doing chain is a little more difficult. You know, I'm just trying to kind of do it on the fly. You don't really have too much time. Okay, so far you guys, all of this is looking pretty darn fabulous. Okay, let me test the chain on this one. <coughs> okay, and then the little bit, this little earring we'll do down here. Wow, that looks good too. And the earring back. All right. Let's give it a go. Drum roll. Dun dun dun. Come on. Wow. All right, guys. Everything popped off with silver. Look at all that blue neon showing up. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll get my scale. Maybe we'll weigh this. <laughs> this one I'm most fabulous about. Um, I'm most most happy about. All right, well, let's do this so we no one gets, you know, chemical burn. As you know, that's all we need today, right? All right, let me get my scale. <clears throat> and let's see how much these weigh. And I have gold, so we'll do that too. Okay, this piece is 42 grams. All right, let's just weigh it all, hang on. Since we have it out, let's just go for it, shall we? What can it hurt, right? Okay, with this one, see if I can't push the 
put the little stone off the side since that's not really fair, is it? Okay, with this group of silver, we did have other silver in the beginning of the video, but just this group is 56.8 grams. So, hey, you know, I mean, silver isn't like tremendous at this point. I would, I think I would certainly sell this piece or maybe think about it. Anyway, have it take, <sighs> the only way you can really, I mean, like this piece here, this really big one, uh, you know, get a file and really file into it, but you damage the piece. Eh, I'll probably take this to the jeweler and see about that one. Okay, so we have that. Now let's talk about, let's bring this back. Don't mean to move you around a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> now let's talk about the gold we found, shall we? All right. And this is why it is uber, uber, uber important to go through every last bit, bobble, and whatnot in the bottom of a box. All of these were all at the bottom, okay? We have this little piece, which is a pearl, and maybe this came off a bracelet. This could have been a pendant, I'm not sure. But this has a great look, and it's not magnetic. These two right here, here we go. These two here are marked 14K. They don't have any of the hooks or however they were attached to an earring, uh, but they're both marked. These little pearls, including the back, they're also marked gold. And I don't know if you can tell, these two are studs with CZ and they're marked 14K with CZ. And these are marked 14K and then a couple of <clears throat> excuse me oh boy uh, I'm telling you I'm getting sick a couple of uh, initials so I'm not sure maybe that's the company and these tiny little hearts I mean these earring backs are just teeny look like maybe they might have uh, really dark sapphires in them uh, this little teeny teeny stone I mean we're talking little chipettes here really small but they're also marked so all of this is marked with gold so Let's take them off. La, da, da. But all of this was in the bottom of the box. I mean, amongst all of the random, you know, beads and things, just random stuff. So, okay. Let's start with our little pearl and gold looking piece. So let's do it. Okay, unfortunately, you know, these we're going to have to do a little little more scratching especially this one since I don't know um, I don't know what it is I mean so we're gonna have to test with a couple okay all right so there's that one and that one let's do the little pearls aren't, aren't these cute I'll put it up here so you can see it isn't that adorable <clears throat> okay, let's do. I really want to finish this video. Oh my goodness. Do that, and then let's do the earring back. I'll do it above it. Okay, so there's that one. Let's put that together so we don't lose it. <clears throat> it's kind of the way my day is going, so. Okay, and then here's this one. That's really pretty too. Okay, let's do it. And let's do. Oh, the back is stuck to this one. That's helpful. Look how tiny these are. Look at. I mean, these are teeny, teeny, teeny. But then I guess if they're giving you gold, they don't want to give you a bunch. Okay. I can barely hang on to this little guy. I'm probably gonna have to get my tweezers out. Okay, there we go. I'm hurrying. <clears throat> I'm gonna be half a sec here, folks. Okay, and then there's gonna be this one. Also, this is the one that's, you know, CZ. It says CZ right on it. Well, that is just a lovely sound, isn't it? That is not fabulous. 
Okay, and then the little tiny hearts. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. You see how tiny? It's tiny. Maybe here. Look how tiny. Teeny. I think this would be like a little person. This would be a kiddo's earring. And also, look at that little tiny back. <clears throat> My goodness, I am so sorry. I am going to finish this video, and then I'm going to be taking some pomegranate juice. What on earth? Folks, I wasn't feeling bad when we started this video. This isn't good. Okay, so here's that. All right, this time we're going to be starting with 10K. <clears throat> And we're going to put it on half of the mark. And we're going to see if it disappears. And then what we'll do, just give that just a sec. Then we're going to hit it with some 14K. All right, so now everything did disappear with the 18. So we know that the pearls are 10 and everything else is 14 karat. So that's not bad. Here, let's get the scale back out. I mean, it's not going to be an accurate, um, goodness, I can't get this thing open to save my life today. So if we weigh the 10 carat, I mean, you have to count the pearls are still in there too, but it says 0.56. That's not bad. And let's put, even though it has all of the little whoop de doos on here. <clears throat> Uh, the 14 karat, even with the little stones, is showing 2.65. So, you know, that's not bad. You know, for the bottom of the, the bag where all of the little bits are, I mean, you want to check those bits out for sure. All right, guys. Uh, sneak peek uh, is coming up right after this. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you for spending time with us. We really do appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned. Let's show that little teaser. What's coming up next? All right, guys, this is the humongous secret we've had coming. Uh, this would be the 57 pound, yes, that's right, 57 pounds of jewelry and craft jewelry. Description is costume jewelry, broken costume jewelry, and whatnots. Cannot wait to see what the heck a whatnot is.